Progress is being made in the construction of Turkey's first nuclear power plant after President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin launched the next phase of the Akuyu facility in southern Turkey. When complete, the power station is expected to meet up to 10% of the country's energy needs and help domestic industries boost their output. Mobin Nasser reports from Mersin. Fresh from the fields surrounding Mersin, Adana and other nearby towns, this corn arrives at the region's largest and oldest food processing unit. Here it will be converted into dozens of different products. We are collecting corn from all of uh, Anatolia and we are crushing corn to produce many different sectors, from food sector to daily used hygiene products uh, to cosmetics and even cement that you are right now standing on. From stripping and milling the corn to processing it, operations at this factory require lots of energy. The company has even invested $5 million to build its own power plant. But officials say a cheap and plentiful supply from the national grid would help save millions more and help them focus on their business. Production of electricity is not our uh, main business. We need to source cheaper, more reliable energy from outside to uh, focus our energy on not on electricity building but uh, on our production. To meet the energy demands of thousands of companies like Sonar Group and millions of other consumers, the government is building the Akuyu nuclear power plant here in Mersin. Now more than 8,000 people have been working on this site since 2018 and on Wednesday, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan launched the construction of the third of four nuclear reactors. The power plant is expected to be fully operational by 2026. When complete, it will have an output capacity of 4,800 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to power Izmir and Ankara, two of Turkey's largest cities, for the next 60 years. As as my dear friend stated, we see this huge project as a symbol of Turkish-Russian cooperation. I share the same view with Mr. Putin regarding the deepening of our cooperation with new projects. The close dialogue we have established plays a key role not only in bilateral relations but also in maintaining regional peace and stability. Sonar Group expects its demand for electricity to more than double by then. And many other local companies are also looking to the Akuyu nuclear power plant to help grow their businesses. Mobin Nasser, TRT World, Mersin. And Mobin also sent us this update on how much progress has been made in the construction of the Akuyu facility. As the construction of the third nuclear reactor begins, many other milestones in the development of Turkey's first nuclear power plant are also being achieved. Nearly 20% of the building phase has now been completed. That includes the cover of the first reactor, the shipment of steam generators, uh, and also pressure tests of the base structure. A pipeline has also been built from the plant to the sea. Now, once those reactors are operational, this pipeline is going to pump tons, or hundreds of tons of seawater to keep those reactors cool. There are three Turkish materials providers that have been licensed to provide concrete, steel and other building materials for this construction. And then there are more than a hundred other Turkish firms that are working on a number of contracts here. There are also nearly 200 Turkish engineers who are being trained uh, in Russia and they will be working on this plant once it's operational. Now we've mentioned that the plant will produce 4,800 megawatts uh, of electricity when all four reactors come online by 2026. That's, 300, that's about 10% of the 305 billion kilowatt hours of energy that is used in Turkey every year. In other words, it's enough electricity to power two major cities, Izmir and Ankara, or 90% of the biggest city, uh, Istanbul. Uh, it means that uh, companies will be able to have a more sustained and fixed supply of electricity at fixed prices. And it also means that the government will be able to cut its reliance on oil and gas imports worth billions of dollars. Uh, now, at $20 billion, this is the biggest joint project between Moscow and Ankara. And the presidents of both countries say it is going to open up the 
the doors of possibility uh, for more economic cooperation in the future.